Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day today. Um, excuse the nail. I need to glue that back on really badly. That's embarrassing. The one missing there as well. I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. I've had I've already had breakfast, which I filmed. Um, so I'll put that footage in after I've spoken. But um, yes, I hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty healthy one. Um, I might make some banana bread later because I saw on Sophia and Chinzia's video the day that they made it, and I literally used to obsess over banana bread. I used to come back from school and make it because it was so easy to make. So I thought I'd give it a go again. Um, I need to go and buy like measuring stuff, etc. Because I made it in second year and I didn't measure anything out. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Sorry if the lighting's quite bad throughout the video as well. It's kind of hard when it's getting wintry to get a good light in the house. So if you're watching, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below and enjoy the rest of the video. While I make breakfast, I'm just going to listen to this podcast. It is the Girls on the Go um, Stress Study Tips and Time. I think it's a time management or something. Oh, okay. Sorry guys, um, podcast, so in between talking I'm going to listen to this because it's motivational and that is what I need for the rest of the day. But I'm making the same boring breakfast as in the last get, re um, get ready, eat with me video but um, I'm making it again, yeah I'm really sorry. So I've got some porridge and then this cacao powder, my fave, um, didn't used to like this very much but I'm really loving the taste now, it fully makes my porridge taste like cocoa pops. So this is going straight in. Gonna add milk and then raisins. I'm gonna be using this, oh my god, focus. This Alpro um, almond milk. This is my favourite one, so bang. Absolute fave breakfast. So on top, I just added some strawberries that needed using up, a bit of honey. I added some raisins into the mix and a little bit of milk around the side, and we are ready to go. Such a yummy breakfast. Honestly, it really just tastes, tastes like cocoa pops. So um, go get yourself some cacao powder. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna get some of this Naked Blue Machine smoothie because I love this. I'm just gonna have a bit before I go to uni, I think. So I'm gonna focus. There we go. <laughs> Yum. I just got back from uni and it is like half three and I have not yet had lunch. I am dying so I need to, I'm just going to go grab myself a salad and then I'm going to make some banana bread. So I'm going to sit down for this sort of a deep thought. Um, you know what really annoys me? When people like disregard healthy food as like, no, it's funny when people are like, oh my god, you're so white girl with the food you eat. Like, that, that's fine. But it's when people get, like, bitchy about it and they're like, oh my god, like, what are you eating? You say white girl, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's all, the jokes are funny and stuff, but it's like, if you want to eat mostly plant-based and drink Alpro milk instead of dairy, like, you're doing the world of good... My flatmates, everyone. We're doing like the world of good for the environment and the animals, and I just think like that's not really something you should ever be ashamed of just because it's like a white girl culture as such. Because obviously, I see on YouTube like most people do, you know, do follow the white girl thing and they do drink Alpro milk and eat plant based and eat vegan, but I don't think it's necessarily something to be like criti something to criticize because, yeah, the people on YouTube doing it are doing more for the environment than people that are eating like meat and milk solid every day 24 7 so that's just a little side thought i think like do if you want to eat like vegan and you're scared not that i do but i'm just saying if anyone does um if you want to eat plant-based or go vegan or whatever don't be bothered about what people think because the more you do for the environment the better the world is going to be in the long term so yeah i just, I just feel passionate about a passionate bit passionate bleh, oh my god passionately passionately about it um that you know, if you're doing if you're doing your bit for the environment, I think that's just so good when it comes to food. Like, if you don't want to eat meat, don't eat meat. Or say what I do, I'm just like a very re relaxed, plant-based human. So I generally eat pretty much all plant-based at home, apart from cheese. I eat a lot of feta cheese, um, but I never buy meat or anything. I always buy um, tofu and uh, veggie burgers, veggie sausages and all that. Um, I eat a lot of salad, but it's not... It's not because I feel, I don't know, I just feel like, uh, me in general, I feel very cleansed and healthy when I do eat that kind of lifestyle. So that's mainly why I do it, but then it has the plus sides of really helping the environment. So yeah, never be 
deterred in doing that because of what people may say on the internet because I do see a lot of like oh my god you say white girl like vegans are so annoying and it's just like no you're the annoying one because you're the one that's being ignorant and not helping the world so that is my little run over I just wanted to say that and say my piece about it because I just think anything you can do even if you like eat one less meaty meal a day like that is a little bit of help for the environment so yeah, we got this kids, um, that's my round over and I'm gonna make go make lunch now. <laughs> okay, if you watch my vlogs on the regular, regular, you'll know what I eat, but I'm having a couscous salad with raisins, cucumber feta, some dried tomatoes and rocket, it's literally my fave combo going. Um, and I usually add red onion as well, but I can't really bother to cut it up. I might cut it up actually, healthy, mm, okay. <laughs> This is a salad. Honestly, it looks shit, but it is my favourite thing. The flavours just go together so nicely and it really couscous fills me up for so long. So, yeah, I'm going to go eat this in the living room and enjoy. I bought these to go in the banana bread that I'm going to make and I've accidentally just eaten loads. <laughs> Oops. Um, they're actually, these are from Poundland and they, the chocolate is so petting for Poundland chocolate. So, yeah, I got these. Then I also got some of these. Um, measuring cups for the banana bread because I didn't have any and the last two times I've made banana bread I guessed it <laughs> and it so it didn't work so yeah these have cup sizes which is so handy I'm gonna go make it now to Tesco and I got some flour oh my god flour always leaks I swear and some butter this is the unsalted one and also got some bicarb so I think I've already got the bananas. Um, the ingredients all together, they're looking a bit gross, so I need to use them. Um, the ingredients all together cost like five pounds with this as well. And um, <clears throat> But obviously this will, these two will last me ages. So it's good to just top, have these things in the cupboard in case you ever need them. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it's No. That's a no for me, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm actually vlogging. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Today, Amy's made a brick in the... <laughs> <laughs> why did it just taste so nice when I did it? Now it tastes like real shit. <laughs> so... I'm super Okay, so I just made some very tragic banana bread. Um, I personally actually quite like the taste, but I have a different, what the heck? I have like a different, um, I feel like I like different things to people anyway. I actually quite like the healthy taste of it. It didn't taste of loads, but I should have put in more, more bananas, more sugar and more chocolate. That's where I put it. I should have put in everything, but hmm, we can learn for next time. Um, I'm gonna make tea in a bit. I think I'm gonna have some veggie sausages and like a flatbread kind of thing. Um, with feta and all sorts, so I'm sure I'll show you what I made. I'm gonna, I hope you enjoyed little Chloe's little um, intervention in the vlog. Some sausages, and we're gonna have it with a flatbread and feta and rocket. Okay, as per all my meals, I always look shit, but um, I've got this flatbread. It's like a vegetarian sausage flatbread with feta, sweet chili, and rocket. And we're only having a small tea because I've got some leftover on the side there as well because I'm not that hungry. So, gonna have my flatbread. So that is the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, leave me any comments down below about what you like eating at uni or like cheap bargains you can find. I'm here for the cheap bargains. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon in probably, it's probably gonna be a vlog, isn't it? Like being honest, all I post really is vlogs. So yeah, I'll see you in my next vlog. Mwah. Oh my God, I keep doing that at the end of the video where I do that and there's like a little hole so you can still see my face. It's not a very smooth outro, is it? There we go. <laughs>